ultimate race in the Steel National Championship Air Races, the final day. This is it, unlimited gold. The airplanes are lined up, they're in the chute, and this race is about to go. So they're coming down the chute, and they're going straight for that guide pylon up on the hill. Everyone stays in their lane until they get to that guide pylon, and then the game is on. Eight planes in this race, the pole position, the number one spot, race number eight, Dreadnought. Listen to that. The sound and the fury of this one is unbelievable and incomparable to almost anything else in any motor racing platform. Joel Swagger and Dreadnought coming around the back of the course, going down towards the Valley of Speed. This is where they pick up the most speed on the course. Making the turn, getting ready to come past the grandstands here to a very appreciative audience. There's a good lead built up already. The first lap by Joel Swagger. Pilot from Ion, California in Dreadnought. The Sea Fury TMK20 trainer of TMK20 fighter plane. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that sound as much as we did. So Dreadnought is still in first base. There she is right there. That's what it's all about right there. And it's been all about this plane through unlimited competition throughout the, le out the week. No one has been able to challenge her. Down low, we have Sawbones, and up there, we have Miss America and Brent Meisey. This is for second and third. Sawbones, another one of the planes, which is a favorite coming into this week. Miss America out of Oklahoma giving chase right now, but no one able to get that close to this one right here. Dreadnought has been unstoppable. Miss America going for a pass on Kurt Brown on Sawbones. Miss America, the red, white, and blue plane. Our beauty queen. Moving in closer and closer to Sawbones. Sawbones again, one of the top favorites coming into this week. These three are the favorites, Dreadnought, Sawbones, and Miss America. And everybody was kind of putting their money on different ones all along the week. Joel Swagger, Dreadnought. We see Fury just performing as it has all week long. There he is, coming back around the back of the course. Back in fourth place behind the three we've been watching right there is Sherman Smoot in the Argonaut race 114. We got our camera inside. Look at the desert go by Look from at the pylons. 100 feet. Just see a pylon coming up. There it is. Close pylon racing. You got to stay outside those pylons, but you want to get close to it. Race a shorter course if you can. We've got Dreadnought, number eight, coming around home pylon one more time. Drilling the crowds in the grandstands here. No one's left this. This airport. It's a very important race. This will make the move. Brown. Let's see what happens here. Keep an eye on that blue, red, white, and blue plane. Still on board with Sherman Smoot on the left. Following our race on the right. That's Miss America right there, in second place. Brent Heisey, number 11. Successfully having gotten by Sawbones, the Sea Fury. Race 71. Brent Heisey, race 11, in second place right now, but still far, far in the wake. Joel Swager and Dreadnought. Fourteen Argonaut currently residing in fourth place. That's where we're getting our onboard shot there. Joel just came around for lap five. Clicking off the miles very, very quickly here on these powerful airplanes. He's pulling ahead, but it's
it's not over yet. Well, anything can happen here. Just Every encounter on. with a pylon can possibly derail a championship effort, so all the judges are watching very, very closely here. You take the momentum you've got, you try not to let it overcome you. You've got to run the race according to the rules. There's our second place contender, Brent Heisey, Oklahoma in Miss America. I think he was sandbagging this week. Qualifying at 386 miles an hour for this third spot. That's where they started today, now in second place. I think he's going faster than that now. That's lap six. Closer and closer. We're starting to lap the, the slower traffic. Joel got by Dennis Sanders, no problem. Brent Heisey is now trying to pass Dennis Sanders. The 12 o'clock position on our oval course right there, halfway through lap number six. We're getting closer and closer to a gold champion in the unlimited class. Five Sea Furies in this race, two Mustangs and one Yak. Here comes Dreadnought. Place behind him right there, Miss America. Behind our leader coming past the stand right now. Lap seven of eight. Two more laps to go for yeah, our leader. Yeah, yeah, coming up on you. Joel Swager having absolutely no problem navigating his way around this one in the front position. He just made a call on the radio to tell someone that he was coming up to pass him. Watch, watch that pass. Does it effortlessly, so much speed at his disposal here. That's why this has been the dominant plane all week long. And in the premiere event, he is putting on yet another show for the fans. Dreadnought continues lapping, going past plane after plane in this eight plane field. Very close to having seven of the eight laps here. Coming back around for the white flag lap. White flag is out at the start finish pile on one more lap just to bring it home. There's Miss America in second place, but too far behind. He's trying to get around all that lap traffic. Sawbones in third just came around. But we've got our all eyes are on Dreadnought. There it is right there. Dreadnought forging forward. Nothing stopping this plane out here this week. Looks great. One more time down the Valley of Speed. Over on the west side of this course. speed right there, dropping a little bit, gaining a little more momentum as if he needs it. He's done all the work, put all the hay in the barn. Now he's to enjoy this race. Close but not too close to the last series of pylons right there, making the final turn. Digging for home is Dreadnought. Race number eight, Joel Swagger is your champion. Dreadnought. Dominant all week long. There's second place right there. Miss America, Brent Heisey. Number three will be. These guys are lap, lap traffic, traffic still. Coming through right now. Here comes Sawbones, number three. Number three, Sawbones, third place. Of course, it's all unofficial until we get a read from the timers. It is. That's good to point out. The excitement of the moment is infectious and contagious. What a display of racing prowess we have seen on display. This final race in Reno. That looks like Dennis Sanders in Eagle's Wings. Thibodeau fa family aircraft. 
could listen to that all day long. Yet again, this is it once again, the premier race to wrap up this incredible event, the Steel National Championship Air Races. Unlimited action for the gold here. 